Are you serious about giving up smoking? Then listen up and watch this video. G'day, I'm Pete. Hey gang, let's get this into perspective. Thought I'd say that right? Perspective. Perspective. <laughs> the average Australian smoker smokes about a packet of cigarettes a day. Now, a pack of cigarettes here in Australia costs about $25. So that equates to about $750 a month. Now think about that gang, $750 a month. Here's what you could buy if you had a spare $750 a month. Here's one method that I have found that works for me and I'd love to share it with you and guys seriously if you decide to take up these e-cigarettes you are going to save yourself a shitload of money. Check this out. So guys there are many different types of e-cigarettes that you can buy and I've just got a bit of a collection here of a few that I've tried over the last year or two but before we get into any reviews about anything the most important thing you need is your bourbon right so we've got the bourbon Oh, take a big swig of that, be horrible. <clears throat> Alright guys, so it is a little bit of a minefield out there um, when you're buying e-cigarettes, so I'm just going to show you a few things that I've learned from my experience anyway. Alright, so first and foremost, uh, here in Australia, uh, you can't buy um, nicotine juice for your e-cigarettes, so the only juice that you can buy is non-nicotine, so uh, if you want nicotine juice, you'll have to source that from overseas. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that uh, in more detail shortly. But firstly, this is the conventional type of e-cigarette that most of the tobacco stores sell. So you can buy these uh, pretty much at any tobacco store. Now, um, e-cigarettes always consist of three main components. So I've got the battery, which is this part right here. Then they've usually got a filament, which is the bit that heats up and makes the vapour, which is this bit here. All right, that just screws in there like that. Okay. And then they have the tank or the container that holds the, uh, the juice that, you, that turns into vapour. So these ones here come with a disposable uh, container that you buy in packs of 10. So you can only use these once and you throw them out. That just pops on there. And this particular cigarette um, automatically uh, ignites when you uh, suck on the filter there. I well, used to know a couple of women like that once, used to ignite when they sucked, but uh, yeah, it's all good. The problem with these, gang, is that uh, they're relatively cheap, the batteries don't last very long, uh, and they're relatively expensive because you have to throw these cartridges away when you finish with them, and it will cost you, if you smoke a packet of cigarettes a day, it'll still cost you about 3 or $4 dollars a day to use one of these devices. Plus, as I said, the batteries only last a few hours, so you'll be struggling trying to find another battery by the end of the day. All right, now, this is another type that uh, I've tried. This one has uh, quite a bigger battery on it, but it's exactly the same setup. You've got the battery there. This one you have to press to uh, ignite the filament. You'll see a nice little pretty light comes on there when you press it. It ignites the filament, but it also takes a disposable cartridge. Now, these cartridges actually have got a little bit of foam inside them. I don't know whether you can see that, and you actually can refill them using the juice, but I've never had a whole lot of success with that. So the good thing about these two products that I've just shown you now is if you are new to the world of e-cigarettes and vaping then I would suggest that you go out and start with something like this. They're only about $20 for a starter pack and a starter pack should last you for about a week or 10 days. Uh, and very very easy to charge guys. Uh, the batteries on these things they They've all got little USB chargers, but um, basically that just screws onto that little USB charger there. And you can plug it into a USB plug pack on the wall or plug it into your computer, charge it up. It takes about four hours to charge that battery. All right, so let's get on to the serious stuff. For you serious guys that are going to get right into vaping. Okay, so most of these, um, of the, uh, the filament burners, have got a fairly short lifespan. So this type of cigarette, I really like this e-cigarette here. But when I bought it, it's called an Ego. When I bought it though, 
It came with a, uh, a filament burner and a holding tank combined. Now, I don't know whether you guys can see on this camera of mine there, but there's a little filament in there which needs to be changed every month or so, and that is a little bit of a pain in the neck. You, um, you fill that up with fluid there with your, uh, with your e-juice, but the filament needs to be replaced in it, and it really is, I don't know, it's just a pain. These batteries, however, are fantastic, and the thing I love about these is that you can dial up your own uh, voltage on them. So you can dial them from low to high and that will uh, greatly increase or decrease the amount of vape that you get out of, uh, out of each drawer. So I like that, that's a great idea. But I was never fussed with having to replace the filament in these holding tanks. So this is how we got around that. I ordered one of these and I'm going to uh, drop some links down here where you can order one of these. This is called a filament less holding tank all right so you will never ever ever have to replace the filament in this tank and to fill it up you simply pour your nicotine juice in there like that now you've got to be a little bit careful because you don't want to get it down that hole there in the center you want to tip it down the side i'll actually show you how to do it in a second and the cartridge just screws straight on there when you've got that tank full of juice obviously you'll be holding it up like that Screw the cartridge on like that, just make sure they're finger tight, you don't want to over tighten these. Put your battery on, screw it on like that, and you are good to go, ready to vape. Okay, let's, uh, I'll just show you how you fill these. And guys, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the dangers of nicotine if you're using actual nicotine juice. Nicotine is actually a poison and um, it is very easy to get a nicotine overdose if you spill any of this nicotine juice on your fingers. Now, like I said, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you where to get the nicotine juice in a minute. So if you do spill any of this on your fingers or onto your skin, it can be absorbed by the skin very, very quickly and can make you quite sick. So uh, make sure you always keep some paper towels handy. Okay, so get this out of the camera can see it. I'm just going to tip that up there like that. Give that a squirt. Now this, I like a blend of two juices, this is a Marlboro flavoured juice, it's uh, 12 milligram nicotine. And, uh, but I also like a combination of this one which is just called straight tobacco and it's high nicotine, so it's 16 milligram. And the great thing about vaping is that you can find a juice that you like and you can mix and match as much as you like. Screw your battery in there like that, bloody beautiful. Now once you've screwed that in and it's sealed, you can tip it up whichever way you want, it doesn't matter, it's not going to go anywhere. Now I really like these and they're called Egos and like I said I'm going to drop a link uh, down here to show you where you guys can get these things here in Australia at least. Charging the batteries on these guys is just as simple as plugging in your battery into your little USB charger here. Make sure it's screwed in nice and tight and then you just simply uh, plug that into your USB charger and you'll see you'll get a green light there, or I've gone red now, which tells me this one needs charging. This light here will also go out once the uh, much is finished charging. These things, these batteries do take quite a while to charge, about six hours. Having said that, I get about three days out of one of these batteries. So these, in my opinion, are the best way to go, gang. If you're going to get serious about e-cigarettes, then the egos are the way to go. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright guys, like I said to you a minute ago, I'm going to uh, just talk to you a little bit about the, um, the difference between the nicotine and the non-nicotine juice. Now, uh, the, uh, the New Zealand company that I get my nicotine juice from is called um, NZ Blue, I believe. Uh, Soul Blue. Soulblue.co.nz. I'll put a link down here to that. So here in Australia, the juice um, is non-nicotine. And uh, look, honestly, if you're doing this to give up smoking, I actually do it because I enjoy it, and I actually still smoke uh, from time to time, um, but enjoy an e-cigarette when I'm at home. But if you're doing it to give up smoking, then I think that uh, going down the route of the non-nicotine juice probably will not work for you uh, unless you do it in conjunction with some patches or some nicotine gum. Uh, I would encourage you to, uh, if you live, I'm talking about if you live in Australia, bear in mind, if you live in Australia where the nicotine juice is not available, I would encourage you to jump online 
and uh, order the nicotine juice. It, uh, it's quite cheap. It's about uh, around about ten dollars for a fifty ml bottle like that, and uh, that, that, believe it or not, lasts me about a month. So there you go. Alright guys, uh, there's also a link down here uh, where you can purchase these, these Ego cigarettes, they're um, just, you know, I mean Google it, they're available everywhere. I have a local supplier here that uh, that uh, stocks them, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, alright guys, well uh, good luck in your venture to give up smoking if that's what you want to do. Uh, or if you just enjoy the world of vaping. Now there's literally thousands of different flavours of vape juice that you can buy. And some people just enjoy it for the flavour and the uh, and, and the taste. But if you're serious about giving up smoking, then this will work for you, I'm sure. Right, eh? Love you. See you next time.